Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahweh Shai, Dubon said the elders of Israel, the apostles of GMS, and honors and blessings to the elect of Israel throughout the four corners of the earth that's pushing this truth. The name of this lesson is going to be entitled Mexicans Spoke Hebrew. And the title speaks for itself. All right. Now I'm in the book here, Mysteries of Ancient South America. Amazing and documented facts on the place where civilization really began. You know, which this book goes off hard, man. It's by Harold T. Wilkins. It goes off a lot. All right. Civilization did not begin in South America. Civilization began uh, in the Middle East and in, in the land of Israel. Not even in Mesopotamia. Civilization began in the land of Israel. All right. That's where the Garden of Eden was. That's where uh, man was created. All right. That's where mankind That's where uh, everything started. All right. Now we're in this book and this book goes off hard. I wouldn't reference it for, for brothers to use it. To find information on the Northern Kingdom Because it goes off very hard man Alright a lot of these books go off But this by far goes off More than any book I've ever read You know I'm going to go into this book more To pull out certain information You know that goes off To prove a point Because this book this book speaks about uh, Quetzalcoatl being a white man and, and the chosen people of God being white They're called Atlanteans And you know all types of garbage man you know, and, that, and that's what it is. It's, it's garbage, okay? You know, because Quetzalcoatl wasn't a white man. Quetzalcoatl was a so-called black man. Actually, uh, he was the Lord, the one everyone calls Jesus Christ. That's really who he, who he was. His name is Yahushua in the Hebrew. You know, it's not Jesus. It's, it's Yahushua, and and that's who Quetzalcoatl was. All right. And uh, and the chosen people of the Most High are Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, not not white people. And they said that they, uh, these white people conquered Central America and Mexico and they returned one day. It's all type of BS, man. So I wouldn't reference this book, but it has certain good points, like the one I'm going to get. All right, we're going to go to page 100. All right. And we're going to go straight to the point, okay? Now, this is the third paragraph on page 100. It says, this MS has a curious story to the effect that the Teocalis was a tower of Babel and the Teocalis is in uh, Mexico and that a hymn was sung there by the Cholulans which are so-called Mexicans the tribe of Issachar at their festivals which began with the words Tulanian Hululaes these two words are of no dialect known to Mexico and are strangely like the Jewish Alleluia which uh saying it like this this is the greek way of saying it but they're letting you know that a tulanian halula is in particular this word halul is that's like uh saying hallelujah or or in the hebrew halal because this is how the, how you say it in the hebrew all right uh, halal well this is the assyrian hebrew the aramaic but this is how you say it you know because i have uh i have a tanakh here all right, if I can show it, this is the uh, the Tanakh. All right, which, which is a Hebrew Bible, but this is uh in, in the uh, Assyrian Hebrew. All right, but as you can see, you have the word Hallelujah, and you also have the word Praise right there, where it says Praise the Lord. All right, so you see uh, it says Halal Wa, and and this is a uh, Yah, but really Yahweh. That's the Lord's full name. So halal wa Yahweh. That's how you say hallelujah. So halal wa. So uh, praise. Pra you know, and it, it it goes on. It continues. You know, in the psalm. But that's the point. The way you say uh, praise in the Hebrew is halal. So really, you know, when you read these books, a lot of times, the way our people said is is closer than the way Esau says it. All right, because it's halal, not. Alu, you know how they have it, you know. Even though this isn't fully right, but you see, the point is that they spoke Hebrew, and this word Tulanian, where well, that goes back to Tula, all right, which is a place in Mexico, all right. And you had the uh, the people known as, known as the uh, Toltecs. They were uh, before the Aztecs, which all of them were, were so called uh, Mes Mexicans. All of them were Issachar, all right. And, uh, 
you know, Tula, which is a place in Mexico, it's it's a good possibility that goes back to one of the sons of Issachar when you're reading the scriptures. Okay, we're in the Bible here. And this is uh First Chronicles chapter seven, verse one. Now the sons of Issachar were Tola and Pua, Jashub and Shimram four. So one of the sons of Issachar's name was Tola. That's similar to saying Tula. You know, so I mean that proves the point. You know, you got the word Tula, so Tulanian, you know. I mean, but you know, that's that's the point in this book, all right? But I'm gonna get one more point, which is a book I go into all the time, but it's a good book. Now this is a good book. I advise brothers to get this book, Origins of the American Indians, European Concepts. 1492 to 1729 by Lee Eldridge Huddleston, which we go into these books, but the main book is the Bible, man. That's the main book, all right? Not all these books, but, you know, uh, they help prove the Bible, you know? Even though the Bible is a self-standing book, it's uh, it stands on its own. It doesn't need anything to back it up, you know, like it says in Isaiah 34 and 16. This is uh, on page 37. Suarez de Peralta interpreted this to mean that the ten tribes taken captive by Shalmaneser had escaped to a land called Arsareth. This Arsareth was obviously near America. It was America. And some of the Jews had migrated to it. He supported this conclusion by citing the similarity of certain Aztec words to Hebrew words and by claiming both peoples had similar idolatries. But well, we just showed that. We just showed in this book if I can find it again, all right, on page 100, you had that word Tulani and Hulula is, that's like saying Hulal, which means uh, praise in the Hebrew, okay? So that proves the point, you know, um, that's it. And I hope this is edifying. Till the next lesson, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai. To you sincere brothers, I say Shalom.